Article 17, shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $643,225 for improvements to streets consisting of paving overlays, adjustments to structures to permit paving, repairs and replacement to drainage, crack sealing, curbing installation, and improvements to town parking areas on the following streets. Landing Road, south of State Route 101, Old Stage Road, Acorn Road, and Driftwood Road, set appropriation to be offset by the State Highway Block Grant, estimated to be $299,804. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32, colon 7, Roman 6, and shall not lapse until the projects are completed or by March 31, 2018, whichever occurs sooner. A majority vote is required in this article has been recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0 and has been recommended by the Budget Committee 14-0. Note, block grant was $289,414.45 in 2015, and the fiscal impact note from the Finance Department, the estimated 2016 tax impact on $343,421 is 12.3 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 17? Moved by Mr. Bridal, seconded by Ms. Wolsey. Uh, who would like to speak on this article? Anybody on the board before I go? I would just like to say uh, I, I support this article. It was, uh, if you've lived in town a while, you notice that our roads have been slowly deteriorating. We have some repairs that need to be done that haven't been done over a long period of time. This year, we were able to do Exeter Road. We also did Toll Farm Road and a couple other roads. I want to see the Public Works Director. Uh, he's brought a list together. Let's move forward. Let's start repairing some of these roads so we don't have to repair our vehicles. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Nichols, would you like to be heard? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll get to let me go. Also, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that we are receiving block grants from the state of New Hampshire to work on the roads, thank heaven. And in the old days, the block grants just went into the surplus money that came in, uh, and the revenue that came in during the year. But now we're actually putting that money to good use and putting matching funds so that we can start getting some of your roads done. Thank you, Ms. Wolsey. Mr. Nichols. Yeah, uh, Dick Nichols, 9 Great Boys Head Avenue. Um, I do support um, the expenditure of the 643000 for the roads. Quite frankly, there's there's money that's, that's um, proposed in other areas that it, it um, wouldn't have bothered me a bit if this was a higher number and the money wasn't used there. Having said that, the reason I got up here is I do have um, some concern about the fiscal note. Um, I don't believe it's an accurate um, representation of what it's going to cost um, the taxpayer. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the 299,804 um, will still go into general fund revenues, okay? So that is still going to be there. I also believe that should this article pass, $643,225 will be added to net appropriations for the purpose of DRA setting the tax rate as compared to a scenario where it doesn't pass. So that the, the cost of this article is $643,225. Last year you had the same language about the offset, which I think is just really kind of a, a sales pitch and not accurate between in relation to how the money is used, but I, I think you've gone a little far in the fiscal note in stating this 343,000 because the difference between whether or not this article passes will be 643,225 additional in the tax rate, but I do support the article. I'm not going to make a motion to change the fiscal note because I believe the language of Article 5 in 2013 gives that authority to the governing body, not the Liberty Session. Thank you, Mr. Nichols. Um, our DPW director, Mr. Jacobs. Thank you. I think you've noticed this year around town um, that there's been an a uptick in activity level within the Department of Public Works, meaning that um, last year you gave us uh, monies to do Exeter Road and um, paving money just like out of this article. We took that money, got Fairfield, Ruth, and Belmont paved. That was a leftover from a sewer and drainage job a few years earlier. We then moved on to Exeter Road. I think a number of you realized that that's a market improvement as to the travel uh, capability on that road. Um, it's, it's smoother. You don't avoid a lot of issues uh, that, that were normally there. 
We then had, and this goes back to Jennifer, I have to give her credit, she managed the project. Um, she and Frank Swift uh, got right down to brass tacks with Ex Exeter Road and they figured out a way that we actually could take the rest of the money and get uh, toll farm uh, uh, paved. So you saw uh, the continuation. In other words, that, that was a project that was actually on this year's 2016 list, that they found a way to get it done. Uh, within the bid uh, contracts that we had. That same effort is going to continue this year in that we've already identified Landing Road, uh, south of 101, Old Stage Road, Acorn Road, and Driftwood Road. And, and if anyone went and actually drives on these roads, you realize that like Acorn and, and Landing Road, they're already gone. They're just, there isn't one square foot of viable pavement on either one of those roads. We also have a list of, I bet, another 20 behind this for paving. So whatever you give us for money, we are going to spend. We are going to bid this out. This work will get done. Your tax dollars will have uh, an immediate impact and effect. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 17? Seeing none, Article 17 will appear on the ballot as printed 